Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker. Add you something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those it is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons for in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hamora. Oh, well done! You're in! Remember, use a dissolution of the arms so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted castle after all. Uh, how are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that? Must be the prefect's bathroom. Revenue. They're saying that Ranrock's lawyers are preparing for a rebellion. Bruce, always mucking about, stirring up. One of those goblins comes near me. I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, both. Anyway, the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? What Ravenclaw? I know when I feel you.
Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I know. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Thank <laughs> you.